Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to the world of home tech with me, your host, Paul Hibbert, and welcome to the most exciting thing in quite a while. Uh, you may remember a while ago, I tried to show you how you could connect Alexa to Kodi so that you could control your media on your TV or your projector or whatever it is you use. Now, that was a good 28 minutes tutorial, I think, and that's left a lot of people going, yeah, it's far too long. And rightly so, 28 minutes is a long time. I'm sorry I wasted my time making it. Uh, so along comes Thomas Kislan, who is some kind of genius, uh, and I think we will all be eternally indebted to him when this is finished. Uh, he has created a Kodi beta skill, and I am testing it for him now, and it's amazing. Check this out. So before I show you how you could achieve this, I want to give you a quick demonstration of the amazing things it can do. Uh, so you'll forgive me if I keep looking at my phone really unprofessionally because I can't remember the amazing things it can do. Uh, I've only just set this up, so uh, let's give it a go. Alexa, show comedy movies. Getting comedy movies from Cody Video. That's awesome. Uh, Alexa, show comedy TV. Getting comedy TV shows from Cody Video. <laughs> so, honestly, this takes five minutes to set up. Alexa, play Family Guy. Getting Family Guy from Cody Video. Good girl. Alexa, stop. Alexa, resume. Alexa, go forward five minutes. Alexa, go back 10 seconds. Too good, far too good. Play a comedy TV show. Getting comedy TV shows from Cody Video. Spot on. Alexa, stop. Alexa, play a comedy movie. Getting comedy movies from Cody Video. Just random movies, amazing. The other amazing thing it can do, because it's Kodi and it has everything properly categorised, you can actually call up Total Recall the original movie, or Total Recall the most recent movie, just by saying, watch Total Recall with Arnold Schwarzenegger, or watch Total Recall from 2012, and it will figure that out for you, and it will play the right movie, um, which is ridiculous. Alexa, watch Total Recall from 2012. Getting Total Recall from Cody Video. <laughs> it's way too good. How good is that? Uh, so the other thing you'll notice is I'm not having to say, Alexa, ask Cody to do blah, blah, blah. I'm able to just say, play a movie or do whatever. And that's because the skill he has written is like an more official route in. Uh, it's utilizing Cody's ability to recognize activities and therefore she knows that that is your video skill and that is where you want video to play from when you speak to this particular Echo Dot. That is ingenious. Here's how it's done. It's time to play Discover with Paul, where Paul has no idea what he's doing and tries to guess his way through. Uh, so I've received this email from the good Thomas Kuzlin. He's, uh, I, I guess that's how you pronounce it. I have no idea. Uh, he has politely, um, politely is not the right word. He has kindly uh, allowed me to test his skill out. So this is in beta and it's something that you should be able to get soon. Uh, probably by bugging him. Don't bug him. Uh, leave him alone. <laughs> so to get started, follow this link. Let's do that, I guess. Uh, and sign in as me. Total guesswork on my part, but that seems pretty obvious. You've been invited to test this skill, Cody Video, test skill. Supported languages, okay, it's got German, US, and Great Britain, because we definitely speak two different languages. I don't know why we have to differentiate. Why do we have to differentiate? We're not different people, we're the same species. To use this skill in a different language, you can change the device language in your device settings, even better. Mm, enable. I have no idea what that is. I don't, I don't know what to log into. What are you? Ah, there's a register button. Let's register and see what happens. I'm gonna use the same email address as I have signed up to Amazon with just to be on the safe side. Check your email for confirmation. I will. Here we go. Connect registration. Continue to log in. Okay, I log in. Hmm, now what? What is this? I have no idea what this is. Add device. 
Device name is missing. Okay. Uh, let's put in the music room, Cody. Add. I have a secret. <laughs> What's the secret for? <laughs> Discover with Paul is a terrible idea for a YouTube episode. <laughs> Paul's got no idea what Paul is doing. Aha! Uh -huh. Here is some stuff to tell me what to do, instead of just guessing. Okay, so we've got to download a Kodi add-on to make this work. I kind of figured this was the way it was going to work. Uh, yeah, click. Download, damn it. Huh? That's just refreshing, that's no good. Okay, so if we go to Kodi Connect add-on, and then go to the README. There you've got the versions history for the add-on. So if I go to the latest version, there's the zip file, I think. Then go to this download button and then direct download. That's gone to my downloads folder. So let's go back to Cody and go to my add-ons. Program add-ons. Upper level. Up a level, and store from zip file. Why? Cody's never got this right. It's always been a pain to get to that. See? He uses... Paul... Downloads... That one. Work! Yes! <laughs> it worked! Okay, good. Uh, so if I now go to my add-ons... Video add-ons... There we go, Cody Connect. I think we need to configure it with our details, so I'm going to put in my email address. And it wants a secret, so where was the secret? There's my secret. Okay. Okay. Open. Cool. Cody Connect is connected. This is a good start. I'm getting there now. I'm getting there. It didn't actually take very long to stumble my way through. What do we do next? Nah, that's not like it's enabled. Let me refresh. It is not enabled. That's not gonna help. Enable, damn you. Oh, wait a minute. Alexa is looking for devices. Oh, no way! Oh, <laughs> no way! Uh, that one, because that's the thing that I'm talking to. Link. I can't believe it! Okay, let's see if that works. Alexa, find 21 Jump Street. Getting 21 <gasps> Jump Street from Cody Video. Oh my god! I don't believe it works. Oh my god, well done, Thomas. Oh, boys and girls, I might have bumbled my way through that like a complete loser, but it works, and it's actually super easy to make it work. I, I've just done it in probably 10 minutes of just faffing without reading any instructions. Perfect, you think. Uh, it is not perfect yet, sadly. Uh, this is still in beta, so that's understandable. It's been made by the amazing Thomas Kislan. I've said his name about six million times throughout this video already. Uh, he will now be inundated with requests, I imagine, uh, to get onto his beta trial. So you're gonna have to get in a big fat queue, probably. So that's your first hurdle. Uh, there are also problems with it. So navigation commands, for example, don't work. You can't do up, down, left, right, select or in fact any other Sonic the Hedgehog cheat code. Um, so basically navigation just isn't present and it might never be. I've had a look through the Alexa documentation and it looks like video skills just don't have that built in. I don't think. I'm probably talking rubbish, uh, but just a fair warning, you may never get to that functionality. Uh, second of all, some of the previous Cody skills I've implemented, you've been able to ask for a random episode of something. You could say, play a random episode of Family Guy, and it would just pick one at random. That is not present here, at least not yet. When you start watching a video, there's no going back. You can't press stop. Um, if you say stop, it actually pauses the video, 
and that's all you can do. You can't get back to any kind of uh, internal Kodi menu once you start using this skill for watching videos and movies and TV shows. You can get back to its own internal menus by saying things like, Alexa, show TV shows, and it will give you a random list of TV shows that's about this long, uh, as not all of your TV shows. If you say it again, it will give you another random list of TV shows. So there is kind of a way to browse if you want to just watch something at random and you can't think what you last watched. Uh, you could just browse that way. Same with movies, same with everything. For me, two very important things don't work. I can't say show recently added TV shows. It doesn't load anything. Uh, I can't say show recently added movies. It doesn't load anything. The weird thing is, I think when I first installed the skill, that was working, uh, and then it stopped working shortly after I started using it. I don't know why. Um, I did try rebooting Alexa. I tried uh, starting Cody again. But no matter what I do, I can no longer say show recently added TV and get a list of recently added TV shows. So that's a shame, and I'm sure that's something that will get fixed. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see some more of this guy, hit that subscribe button. I'm going to stick a link in the description to Thomas Kislan's stuff, so you can go and bother him. He's going to lose his mind. Uh, and as usual, YouTube don't pay me a great deal of money for doing this. So if you want to help support my channel and keep me doing this, uh, there are links in the description to do that too. I'll see you next time. I've had a look through the documentation from... Um, uh, connect Alexa to Cody so that Cody could... Shut up, bitch. Sorry, I don't know that. I don't know that either. Kukukukukukapa. It is not perfect. <laughs> is it still as as is? So if you want to help, so my channel, so my channel. <laughs>